Huh. All right, 39 is confusing. An author <laughs> wishes to divide part of a field beside his cottage in the woods amongst his two children. With 600 meters of fencing, okay, fence is 600, the father has two questions. Did they mean the author? Or is the author a father? Whatever. Uh, the two questions thing is confusing me because I'm hired to do the calculations and it says what dimensions will create the maximum area that can be in that can be enclosed using all the fencing available if the side against the cottage does not require fencing? That is one question. I'm guessing maybe he wants to know what the max area is as well. Whatever. If he didn't ask his second question, I'm not going to answer it. So we want the dimensions. Okay, first of all, 600 meters of fencing. Now, he wants to divide it between two kids and he's using a wall. So there is the wall. So the side against the cottage doesn't require fencing. So there's the side of the cottage. And then I'm going to put down the fencing here, and I'm going to divide it in half like that. So what I end up getting is three widths and one length. So that's my fence equation. The total fence is going to be equal to three widths plus one length. Now, the fence is 600, and that's three length widths plus one length. And what I want to do is isolate so I get an equation for length. So if I take 600 and minus 3 W's from it, I have length. Now, why am I doing all this stuff? Well, remember, the question asks us to maximize the area. It is a rectangle, so area is equal to length times width. Cool with that? This is what I got to maximize. So I'm going to take this fence equation, I'm going to make, isolate, sorry, I'm going to take the fence equation, I'm going to isolate a variable, so I'm making an equation here. Gonna plug it into there. So area is equal to 600 minus 3w times w. I'm going to multiply the w into both. Yeah, distribution looks a bit funny from the back, but it works the same way. If you want to move the w to the front and distribute it in, you can. While I multiply this in, I'm going to move the 3w squared forward, because I like my base, biggest exponents first, and then add 600w. Okay, I have an equation for area right here. Bam, now I need to maximize that equation. So I need to find the vertex. In order to find the vertex, I'm going to complete the square. Negative 3w squared minus 200w equals negative 3w squared minus 200w plus 10,000 minus 10,000. You guys remember how I got that? Oh, last day's over. Uh, 200 divided by 2 is equal to negative 100, and then negative 100 gets squared and gives you 10,000. So that's my plus minus. It goes into the bracket. I now kick out the negative case. W squared minus 200W plus 10,000. That gets kicked out, gets times by negative 3 and becomes positive 30,000. And then I factor this. So, what multiplies to 10,000 and adds to negative 200? Negative 100 does. So the bracket is negative 100, w minus 100 squared, plus 30,000. So there's my vertex. This is the axis of symmetry of the vertex. Oh man, did I not show that again? Whoops. Sorry about that. This is the axis of symmetry of the vertex. So, w is equal to 100, that will maximize, because this is h. Now, if w is equal to 100, we're going to go way back up here and plug this in. So, l then is equal to 600 minus 3 times 100, because that's w. So, the length to maximize ends up being 300. Therefore, he should use... dimensions of 100 by 300 meters to maximize his area. And if he really wants to know, he can get 30,000 meters squared or 15,000 meters squared each. Okay, so hopefully you could follow that even though I'm pretty sure I let that run off of the video for a little bit.